attempts about exponential regression and its application to certain life situations. So there, this is a problem. Mrs. Broman bought $1,000 worth of shares in the Acme Growth Company. The table below shows the value of the investment over the 10 years. Okay, so this is like number in dollars and the number of years. Maybe like this is 2000 to 2000. 10, okay, so if you have 2,000 represented as 1, you're asked to find the exponential regression equation and then, of course, uh, we could probably prove it that it's really the best fit for our function. So the first thing we should do is to put our table in our decimal. So you have first year, second, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay, and then our values. It's really important that you are accurate here because you change one number and you change the equation. So you have 1141 and then you have 1192, 1246, 1302 and then uh, 1361, uh, 1422, 1486. And then the last one is 1553. Okay, so to find the equation, we just need to input our exponential regression. So you have y1 is similar to a is our uh, initial value when our x is 0. That's b x raised to uh, x, x subscript 1. Okay, so as you can see, it's a perfect exponential regression, so we don't need to really like use the other linear. But for the purpose of contention, we can just uh, we can also make use of linear. So if it's linear, I'm going to make use of a x one plus b, and it's also like a a good fit for an equation. But uh, as from the previous, we have found out that. 1 is the perfect regression that would tell us that it's the fit equation for our function. And we have proved that, we have proven that, that it's really it because the regression analysis is 100%. So it's the best fit for our model. So we will use an exponential uh, function to answer our problem. So first is we find the exponential regression, regression for the data with coefficient and base rounded up to the nearest three decimal places. So our equation is y equals, it should cover our function, a is equivalent to 999.814, okay, and then our b is 1.045, okay, raised to x. Okay, and as you can see, it's going to cover our equation, meaning uh, we did the right thing in, in, in modeling our exponential equation. Now, we, we are now in, in solving the last uh, question of the problem. Now, you're asked to predict to the nearest dollar the value of the Roman's investment after 11 years. So, it means that our x is 11. So, all we have to do is to copy this. Oops. Okay, and change our x into 11, so 999.814 times 1.045, and our x now is 11. So meaning to say, after 11 years, the investment now becomes $1,622.55.